All right, so Haiwan, I've been traveling a lot. I uh, went to a lot of conferences uh, this year and it's only July. And uh, this month I was at the VR Devs World Congress, which is a developer conference. Met a lot of developers there and, um, you know, it was nice for a change to uh, talk about things out of cloud. But um, one thing that uh, I resonated with a lot of people were developers were really not keen on working with Kubernetes. They were like, we just want to focus on writing code. And I don't want to work with YAML and do all these other jargon and, you know, worry about Kubernetes and all those things. So various teams I spoke to, um, and you will see this as well if you attend like KubeCon and you talk to other people, uh, you'll see a good real world example as well, like a lot of companies coming out, a lot of open source projects that are helping developers uh, by providing that abstraction and uh, making Kubernetes less complex for them. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to look at an open source tool, Cyclops. Uh, the links can be found in the description below. And uh, they're also doing a product hunt launch. So if you like it, feel free to you know check it out, uh, share your honest opinions, feedback. Community is really awesome and uh, open to you know uh, user feedback. But that's what we're going to look into today. If you have a DevOps team, if you don't have a DevOps team, in short, Cyclops basically allows you to. Uh, interact with your Kubernetes cluster in simple terms uh, by providing some pretty easy to use UIs. So if you have a DevOps team, your DevOps team can make UIs for you. If you don't have a DevOps team, they also have some predefined templates. A lot of things we'll cover in this video. So I highly recommend um, watching. And uh, if you have any questions, thoughts or comments, let me know in the comment section below. Let's get started. All right, so let's talk about how teams are interacting with Kubernetes. Let's talk about uh, Cyclops a little bit. So imagine you're trying to manage like a bustling city where every resident has different needs and schedules. You know, that's how the government people work sometimes. And um, I mean, I don't know much about politics, but anyway. And uh, the reason I'm saying it is because you can imagine this city as your Kubernetes cluster. And managing it effectively can be quite the challenge uh, if you don't have the right tools, especially if you're a developer. And that's where Cyclops uh, you know, comes into the picture. But before we actually dive into Cyclops, let's talk about why managing Kubernetes can be complex. And then let's talk about how, how Cyclops can make it easier. So let's set the stage and talk about the challenges first. Okay, Kubernetes. You may have heard it, a very popular tool. It has become the backbone of many organizations, you know, for managing and scaling their applications across uh, various uh, you know, cloud providers. However, the complexity of its configurations and the other thing that I heard from developers is the steep learning curve. It can be quite daunting. I mean, I still don't fully understand Kubernetes. There's so many things I still have to, you know, do a deep dive on. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's like, you know, needing to know the workings of every building and road in the city analogy that we took earlier. Now that's quite overwhelming. And um, yeah, it's really, at least for me. Um, the, the thing I want to mention is that when we talk about complexity, here's the thing, without an intuitive interface, teams can really struggle with productivity. And with this, the risk of error also increases. If you have like any, comments or suggestions like how you are working with it. If you're using any Kubernetes platforms, just let me know in the comment section below. But yeah, um, and also uh, different teams often time need to collaborate with, uh, you know, um, other teams and they find themselves bogged by these complexities. So this brings us to Cyclops. You can check out the links in the description below. As I mentioned already, it's a web-based uh, interface that is designed to simplify your interactions with Kubernetes. And in the city analogy, you can think of it as the city planning tool that is going to turn your complex maps and infrastructure into uh, you know, clear and concise, easy to navigate streets and simple signs with like guidance and stuff. You can check out some testimonials, their blogs, join the newsletter, social media handles, join the Discord uh, community to share your feedback. And uh, yeah, let's uh, take a look into Cyclops in action. And yeah, follow them on Product Hunt for their launch updates. Okay, I'm going to create a cluster, Kubernetes cluster. 
I'm going to use SIBO because it's awesome. <laughs> and I look at SIBO as well. So if you didn't know that already. But yeah, pretty amazing. You can spin up a cluster in like 90 seconds. I'm going to write the uh, Cyclops demo. Three node, medium is fine, default is fine, firewall default is fine. Um, advanced option CNI, Cilium is fine, K3S is fine, this is fine. Marketplace applications you can install. You should actually get Cyclops in here. So if the Cyclops team is watching, get in touch with me. Create the cluster. And it's going to take like around 90 seconds and uh, you'll have a full nice Kubernetes cluster created. Cool. While that is building, I would encourage you to check out the documentation as well. If you want to learn more about the concepts, um, these are some of the cyclo specific terms that they have used, which is called the one is called a module. Uh, for all the Kubernetes resources that your applications need. Good example is uh, if you require a deployment service, it can all be abstracted under a Cyclops module. So you need like some Kubernetes objects, just put it into one Cyclops module. It's just like a, I don't want to say, <clears throat> I don't know how technically accurate it is to a package, but like it's just providing that abstraction under the module. Template, pretty simple. Each module reference is a template that maps values from module into a valid, valid Kubernetes manifest. If you want to create some objects like deployments, replica sets, whatever, use templates. Template origin, which is uh, like you can store your template as Helm chart, basically what it is, on Git uh, or even inside Cyclops. If you don't know about Helm or Git, I have done videos on both of those, so check it out. And the template version uh, is just a part of a template reference, just a template version as the name suggests. Cool. As you can see, my node pools are being created. And yeah. Okay. So I have my cluster uh, up and running, and I have it connected to my local terminal, kubectl get nodes, my three K3S nodes I have over here. All good. You can also use Minikube, Cyclopox 12, just for like, you know, demo purpose. Installing it, very easy. You can just copy the kubectl command and then just port forward to uh, access the dashboard. It's going to create a Cyclops uh, namespace. And name say in Cyclops, here you see. This is what's running. Uh, pod, service, deployment, replica set. All are running now. See? All good? Cool, cool. Okay, now we can port forward. Um, that's it. If I go to port 3000, localhost, ta-da, that's Cyclops. Okay, uh, we already spoke about what templates are. Uh, nodes, these are just my Kubernetes um, <clears throat> cluster nodes that I showed you. You can check the details. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. So you have uh, information about uh, the nodes as well. You know, the resources and all these other things. Modules, currently it's empty, but uh, I will uh, add in some modules and uh, we'll work with that. But how easy was that? It was just two lines of uh, commands. So yeah, it's pretty simple. And um, that's what I wanted to show you. Cool. By the way, you can also use uh, Glasscube to install it, which is the package manager for Kubernetes. I did some uh, podcasts uh, with the Glasscube people. Shout out to Philip and the team. Uh, we'll be doing some more um, you know, content with Glasscube in the future. But um, yeah, highly recommend uh, checking them out. So you can install it via Glasscube pretty easily. All right. Okay, so Let's this is forward. the dashboard, as I mentioned already. You have the comprehensive view of your uh, Kubernetes uh, cluster. You can deploy applications uh, simply because there's this intuitive interface and we create the module. 
you can manage deployments, you can uh, adjust replica numbers, you can update configurations without ever touching a command like command line, right? And uh, if you're using, for example, Helm or configuration, uh, I would like to share that Cyclops integrates seamlessly with that as well, ensuring that the transition to this new tool feels like moving from, let's say, a manual to an automatic cart. That's the best analogy I can come up with. So you retain your comfort while enhancing the experience is the way to put it. So if you already have that structure in place, don't worry. If you move to Cyclops, it's not going to be like, okay, we have to redo the whole thing. No, not at all. Okay. Add a module. Uh, I'm going to say what? What do I want to deploy? Let's say we want to do, we can do anything. Let me do Prometheus. Okay. You can also load values from a file and I can define this module. Yeah. Alert manager. I can add in a bunch of things, modern name. Monitoring. Add any common annotations. Uh, no, I'm good. Let's keep it simple. Any labels you want to add, any arguments you can add, global ingress, CPI version, override Kubernetes version, name override, server, volume permissions. So you can see you don't have to work with the CLI. It just does it for you. Any sidecar, service. Oh, they have Thanos as well. Not the Marvel Thanos, Thanos, the CNCF project, volume permissions, container security context. So that's that's what I'm saying. You know, you can uh, install Prometheus, and it's just like for an example, you can make all of these configuration changes, and then you can just save. And here you'll have the status view logs is waiting to start stateful set view logs is waiting start container being created status is currently off not a problem um okay in the namescape namespace uh, cyclops so what i'm gonna do is Yeah. That looks good. And then kubectl get all namespace cyclops. Oh, it's running now. Here you can see, it's all good. Monitoring server deployment created. Right. kubectl mm. get namespaces. And Cyclops, kubectl. Yeah, there you go. My monitoring Prometheus server is running. Here we go. Replica set, stateful set, alert manager ready, up and running. Okay, that's what I wanted to show you. So you have Prometheus running and you did it via Cyclops. You can roll back as well. It's gonna, and you can edit it if you want. Um, I did not change the namespace. That's why I did it in the default one, but I can change the namespace as well. Um, but yeah, that was it. That was easy. I can roll back uh, monitoring history. I don't have one yet, uh, but if you if you have like a history of this uh, this module, for example, if I go to modules, I can have multiple modules. You know, create my own. Uh, your DevOps team can create modules for you, and now devs can just use this. But uh, if I have specific versions for a module, I can just roll back and stuff. I can delete this as well. Um, yeah, and it's going to delete the related resources as well. Don't want to do that right now, but that was it. Yeah, 
pretty cool stuff. Um, and here are some templates as well. You can add a template on your own. You can edit templates, do a bunch of things. So yeah, I would say uh, play around with it. Um, give it a GitHub star. So you can go to the Cyclops page. You can go to GitHub, give them a star. They're very close to 1.4. They're 1.4K. Uh, follow on Product Hunt. And uh, there's an upcoming launch. So make sure it's like the feedback you're giving is genuine obviously because it's going to help the community it's going to help other users as well so make sure you're not like spamming and just giving authentic uh, feedback if you use the project and yeah if you have any questions for them you can join the discord community by the way all the links can be found in the description below this was fun uh, as you saw that it was pretty easy to use let me know if you have any questions and that was basically about it so yeah that that was it to wrap up, I would just like to say that, you know, the tools like Cyclops, it's not just about simplifying Kubernetes management, you know? I mean, it is about that, don't get me wrong, but it's also about empowering your teams to be more productive and collaborative. It's about making the technology work for you. It's about making Kubernetes work for you, not the other way around, if that makes sense, right? So yeah, check it out. Links in the description below. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.